Howdy, howdy, and how do you do? And welcome back to some Peglin, where I kind of want to get a bomb build going a little bit. Suffer the Sling was offered to us. We almost always grab Suffer the Sling, but short fuse kind of leads us into possibly having a little bomb build. We haven't had a Bob Orb in our pocket in a very long time, and I wouldn't mind getting the feel of a little Bobathan again. I remember Bobathan carried us through a lot of Cruceball levels before Cruceball decided to nerf the uh, bombs into the ground, but that is okay because we're on Cruceball 10 where bombs aren't completely nerfed. They're just slight. Actually, I don't think they're nerfed at all in... Uh, do we want any of these? The Doctor Orb doesn't sound bad. For future healing abilities, healing capabilities, might as well as grab it if it's not offering us anything else here. Can't upgrade it right now, but that's okay. Take some self damage, might as well as even it out a little bit. Oh, they offer us this. We're going to grab the Ouroboros, I'm sorry. But if it gives us an Ouroboros, we take the Ouroboros. Early Ouroboros is a delicious Ouroboros. Going into stronger bombs or the refresh. I did want to get a little bit of a bomb thing going. Granted, we have the Ouroboros now, so might be a little nullified a tad bit. So maybe the extra refresh was, especially where this refresh is presenting itself and probably was a wiser decision to go for another refresh but uh, we're fine we're fine we're fine and dandy because you're gonna do 200 damage right here well you didn't do 200 damage but we did win at the very least pretty easily because Orboros is just so strong Nosferbatu for healing's not bad but upgrading the Orboros a little bit better we don't have any way to gain max hp pumpkin pie is okay prime rod of frost we're grabbing that for sure because that is pierce pierce is the name of the game for us today set of bombs i suppose even though we kind of did grab quite a few bomb stuff and we didn't need to we can remove and have zero orbs but i think we'll go and upgrade we don't need zero orbs by any means. Is there anything special for hitting all these bombs? I don't know. And we will not find out today. Leave it. We don't need the special relic. Taking the fight probably is better. Yes. Money and upgrading the Orboros even more is what I wanted to do. Ooh. <laughs> 120 carrying over. So we're one-shotting this guy no matter what. Uh, we're one-shotting this guy no matter what as well, and that means we're one-shotting the next guy no matter what So might as well as try to get some of this gold off the sides of the map. I Hope you're all having the greatest of days. My day is not too shabby and one thing that I have noticed is I'm pretty sure I have the best conversations Whenever I'm talking to myself, I don't know if you guys talk to yourself at all, but I talk to myself a lot. Let's see if we can get this. Dang it. And usually whenever I talk to myself, I it's random conversations. I don't know what about. It's usually working out a problem or kind of idea. The, uh, what is it called? It's kind of like breaking down ideas and creating new ideas and stuff like that. It's a lot of the conversations or I do like mock interviews. Uh, I love doing mock interviews for whatever reason, working on what I would say to a certain response. Granted, whenever those questions do come up in person, like not to myself, I tend to not be as smooth as I think I was whenever I was talking to myself. So it's kind of null and void most of the time, but I still like having them because it makes me feel like 
I'll be prepared when those questions do arise and they often don't or if they do I don't even stay true to what I say whenever I do do the mock ones so is what it is is what it is I don't kind of off topic a little bit there but I just wanted to see if get my feelers out there and see if any of you experience the same things have the same experiences So if you do, let me know. Let me know I'm not alone. But if you don't, um, don't make fun of me. <laughs> Actually, please make fun of me. Make me aware of what I am doing. I think puppet's probably a little bit better. Refresher course, yeah, that's good. But we only have one refresh. Puppet will at least protect us a little bit more. We have a lot of money. A lot of Mune. Uh... He's playing Hogwarts Legacy. I assume you guys can see that. I think you guys can see. Oh, if we got that bad cheese there. I was going to say, I think you guys can see what I see. If we got that bad cheese, this game would have been easily over. Because we have round guard bad cheese with an Orboros. There's just nothing they could do to prevent us from molly whopping and cheesing the whole thing. Unintended. Which, we've done multiple of those cheese runs. Maybe if this was like Cruise Ball 15, maybe we do it. But since it's not Cruise Ball 15, I kind of don't want to do it. Uh, guess Electropagnet's the best option here. We don't need money for anything, so we're going to be saving up the money. We don't need that. We don't need Pierce either, since we have Rod, Frost Rod of Prime or Prime Rod of Frost, whatever it's called. However you pronounce C-H in it. That's going to bleed through, kill both of you. They spawn out. You're one shot. No, yes, you are one shot. And now you won't be, you will be one shot too. I mean, it is as easy as that. Easy as that in this world. I think we wanted to go left. The shops do sound good too. There is no shops ahead of us, but I kind of want to hit these instead of the shops, believe it or not. We can hit shops later on. I want to fight the elite fight because we get better relics from elite fights. I do believe. I could be incorrect on that, but I'm pretty sure we get better relics from elite fights. It feels like something I should know, especially how much I play Piglin. But that calls for me paying attention. Most of the time, I don't pay attention. As most of you know, and have educated me. Educated me on my poor decision making sometimes, from time to time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Super boots are kind of pointless. Refresh shields, probably a little bit more. I wouldn't mind going for that, but I don't want to miss out on fighting an elite. Fighting the strongest elite that this map has to offer. How'd that mint? Oh, we had the puppet. Puppet. We had the puppet. I'm trying to mimic the guy from... Um, what is it called? The guy from Pirates of the Caribbean. The first movie. Whenever... What's her name gets kidnapped. The main girl. Oh, what's her name? I don't remember, but the pirates were calling her Puppet. That's who I was trying to mimic there. I just don't have the accent for it, I don't think. But, uh... Fun fact. Oh, wait. Maybe I did talk about... I talked about this in yesterday's video i believe but i'm gonna talk about it again in this video since yesterday's video was a uh find an advisor video usually doesn't get much viewers so sometimes we can talk about uh more things i think must circle is going to be a little bit better than adding one percent healing to our post battle healing i do say so myself please one shot this individual you did fairly easily 
we will one shot you guys as well very easily and then we can honestly just throw straight down and be fine there's oakley throwing it's a mailman it's the mail carrier oak you see them every day and i'm maybe that is what you bark at during the day the mail carrier makes sense i suppose i don't really notice it I never really look outside Oakley every time you bark. Fun fact, if you did think I actually checked on whatever you were yelling at, I don't. Uh, so, you, I always just chalk it up to be you barking at nothing. But maybe you are barking at the mail carrier. And there's the bob orb that we were wanting earlier, but now it's kind of spoiled. Foil. I want to fight this elite, so I'm going to force going left here. I think. I think grabby hand, believe it or not. Yeah, we could go for that too, but I want to go left. We didn't hit the crit. It's kind of sad. You know, if they did away with this specific map, I would probably be a little bit more happy with the game, but I understand why they have it in it. And I'm pretty sure I might be the only one that really complains about this map anyway. Ooh, I missed the away oh, crits. Refresh the board. But that's not bad, I suppose. I suppose it's not that bad of a deal. I think we will take the heels, might as well, if we're right here. We have so much money. Oh, there you go, good girl. He's gonna go lay down. Lay down like a good girl, fighting the same elite fight, eh? Maybe we'll do... We did very good the first time. We are gonna lose some health here. Fine, losing some health. But not a lot. It is nice having heavy shaft potion, I suppose. Hitting bombs. We didn't hit as many. Well, I guess we hit a lot of bombs. All but two. Bombs have been strucketh downeth. Hit the refresh, please. Hit the refresh. Hit a refresh. Crit. Easy crit. Relatively. Hit the refresh at least. Dang it. Come on. Easy. Oh well. Refresh shield did it. But I guess it doesn't matter. Just pop off a little bit, Orboros. I wonder if they're gonna do anything for the Orboros because currently it's kind of overpowered. If you were to ask me, it is quite overpowered. Duplicate all orbs, duplicate a random orb, I guess duplicate all orbs. That right there is unfortunate. You say, why is that unfortunate? It's unfortunate because now we can't just do the bad cheese strat. Because now we have to skip through two Orboroses. Well, we can't even get refreshes going, so. We are not doing much damage, but we are doing some damage, I should say. There's a lot of damage. I'm gonna lose some health here, that's fine. I think I'm fine losing the health. Hit that crit. Perfect. 5-8 is all we are. All we are is a 5-8, which is not great. I've seen worse, though. And this ends the fight pretty easily. Or Boros just makes this game so easy, so I kind of think they might have to nerf the Orboros a little bit. I don't know how they would nerf it. Maybe instead of 50% Echo, 35% Echo might be better. I think in the long run, it might just make the Orboros less as strong. Granted, yeah, we have lost with the Orboros before, but I don't know. It's I guess it does have its place. Let me know what your th thoughts are on the Orboros. 
does it need nerfed or does it not? I kind of think it does need some tweaking. Now, if it was as simple as just the percentage, echo percentage is fine, or maybe lower the damage a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. Have it lower damage, but keep the echo the same, or maybe increase the echo at that point, because you don't want it too weak to where it's pointless to grab. So maybe that's the way to do it. Is to lower the damage, increase the echo. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with that uh, option. I think that option will work if they utilize it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or in our Discord. Link in the description below. If you want to join our Discord where fun things happen, fun things go to prosper. We are going to go here. Because I don't think I'm afraid of any elite fights that this would have. I don't think there's a single elite fight that I would be scared of. I don't even think I'm scared of the upside down individual. Because we have quite a bit of damage going out, like a thousand damage there, but granted, this is a very high damaged map. This map is designed for high damage, so it's got a lot of enemies. I wish we had Overhammer on top of the Prime Rod of Frost. I wonder how that matches up if you were to combine those two. Please, does the Overhammer work until after you've something spawn it no that thing's still alive in the f whatever that thing is that's right here is a tanky little beast oh i was gonna say it's still alive eh, maybe we just get more bombs right yeah, that weakens our Nosferatu a little bit, but I mean our Orboros a little bit, but I'm fine with weakening it. Ten for extra bombs. Who's our final boss though? More bombs is probably not a wise decision with you, but we did want some level of bomb build, so might as well just do it. Maybe if we can get ax me anything. What's I think it's ax. What's the ax? one where it gets rid of the resistances if we can get that bad boy we do want to go we want to go to the right perfect we just had to get rid of everything I think it's Axe Me Anything, isn't it? Gives you Pierce. I mean, not Pierce, but gives you... Uh, gets rid of anything that has resistances. And this final boss, the Chunky Peglin, has bomb resistances. So having all these bombs isn't necessarily that great. With it having the resistances against the bombs, so... Yeah, we don't need a heal. We do want to forcibly go... I guess it doesn't matter. We can hit this shop. Doesn't matter. Which way we go? Because we gotta go right after this shop. Anything good for us? Health is good. We can remove one of our Orboroses. I won't worry about that. Base damage increase is good. We'll exit. I don't want to spend too much money out there. I'm me crazy for not grabbing the decoy orb. And believe you me, we are not going for this either. Because we have to go right here because I want to hit both these shops, all these relics that are in a line. There it is. Ask me anything. Exactly what I was looking for. That's good and that's good. 
That's okay. Might as well just grab it. Move on with our lives. Now if we can get bad cheese, then it's almost perfect. Bomb batons. Might as well just grab bomb baton. Even more bombs, I suppose. Refreshes are good. Refreshes are good. Self damage is good to have. Uh... I have the turtle and unicorn horns, not bad, I suppose. And then you're going to offer us bad cheese. I can tell you that right now, you're offering us bad cheese. It's almost guaranteed. Might as well just hit all these. Get rid of all of those bombs over there. We don't need them anymore. Everything should be essentially gone, though. Throw. You're frozen. You're frozen. Please. How long should we give it before we... Dang it. Come on now. Click to aim. Won't fire as soon as you click. Interesting. I've never tried that one. Okay. We're going to have to continue. <laughs> I think we have to redo that fight for one. Which is quite unfortunate. But that's fine. Hopefully the game doesn't break again. Doesn't look like it will break at least. Doesn't it have the appearance? We're not doing near as much damage as we did last time, but that's fine as well. Light Chef Potion would probably be nice too, so either the Bad Cheese or Light Chef Potion. Hey, level 3 math, 3 Orbshka. Well, you're useless now. Fun fact, if you did not know, you are useless since all we have left is one fight and then the boss. Uh, Knife's Edge, I don't want to ever be below 30% health. Power Glove, yes, very nice. Freshing Punch, very nice as well. I think Power Glove will be best for us going forward. Oh man, look at all these bombs. So it turns out, we did do a bomb build in the end. A little treat for you guys that stayed through to the end. I held true to our goals and aspirations. Doesn't always happen that way, but sometimes it does. Sometimes it's nice that works out. Maybe we'll find a way to hit the... Oh, there's the crit. Nice. We have to break through all these. Maybe if I picked up that level 3 Matriarchka, we would have been fine. Because then it would have really spread out and destroyed everything. Fortunately for us, we have uh, the Grabby of Hands. So Grabby Hand is going to go through this individual and hit the boss as well. It did not. Fun fact, I thought it would. Uh, don't listen to me and don't ever do that because that did not, that wasted a lot of damage. So don't listen to me there. I don't know what I was talking about. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, yellow poke, a da bikini. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, that was a really good game. What, cruise ball 10? How fast that take us? 24 minutes or so? Not bad, not bad. 
Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to talking with you all later. Uh, yeah. That's it. Bye-bye.